The really great thing about Sarah's brows is that they are really arched and, and they look beautiful. But I want to go in and fill in where it's missing or lacking hairs. Uh, so here's a way to give yourself sort of like a guideline on how to do your brows. First take a pencil and give yourself a little, like a little marker on where you should go. And it should almost be like a check almost. Then put another line here right by the highest point of the brow. Just another line there. And then the end of the brow usually should end right where the, your eye line stops. So the end of the eye, about right there for Sarah. And then you're gonna take an angle brush. I like using the Cosette 250 because the brush is stiff, the synthetic hairs, and I just love how I can pull that color through. So that little bit of pencil goes a long way. Now the hairs that are right at the highest point, you wanna pull that up in an upward direction. Even across the line here, the ending line, you just wanna kinda of like a light feathering pull. Now we're gonna go on the other side and do the same thing. You never wanna just pull the pencil like that because then it'll look too harsh and it won't appear as a real natural brow. So now that you've got the pencil on, now we're gonna go in and take a brush and pull everything through so it looks more natural. All the hairs are in place. And it looks really pretty. So Makeup Forever has this wonderful product. It's a brow gel for the eyebrows. And it's really great because it's a liquid. And I'm using the light brown color. And what this is gonna do is reinforce the brow and just give it a little bit more color. So all the spaces that might be bare, that I didn't catch necessarily with the first step, I'll catch with the second. And the final step is let's clean up the brow. So if you're super anal like me and you really wanna make sure that your brows are totally arched and look beautiful and clean and perfect, take a clarifying pencil. I like the one from Three Custom Color. It's a pencil that will clean up under the brows. It li literally mimics your skin tone. You can also use it on blemishes and it gives extra shape to the already shapely brow that you already had before. Another thing that you can do that I love doing on my celebrity clients is going on top of the brow to make it even more clean. And just outline again just like you did below, on top. This will really soften the arch and make the brow look more streamlined. The great thing about this pencil is it allows you to make mistakes. So if you make a mistake, you can go right in and fix it. And nobody needs to know. <laughs>